friends, welcome to Random Familia. I hope you enjoy the video, I hope you enjoy today. Today is a wonderful day, and here we go. So, the first thing we need in our blueberry muffin recipe are two cups of flour. Here we go. Two cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder. baking powder. <laughs> Mix that together. One cup of granulated sugar. Then, then on a yogurt, uh, mixed berry and strawberry. It's supposed to be a cup. And a cup is 235 milliliters. Not too short. Sit. Don't move. Okay, move. All right, so half a cup of oil. Uh, yep, all gone. Okay, now we're supposed to whisk all that together. You have to be careful to only fold these together because it needs to be mixed well, but it does not need to be, um, yeah, it just needs to be folded nicely because otherwise, like I said, your muffins will be too dense, they don't have any moisture to them at all. So, um, there was a fight in my life where I just did not like baking, and I guess it's just because I felt like my life was just too much fun. It's like, and I seemed like that I'm starting to reorganize myself, and so I'm starting to enjoy baking again. And I decided seeing as my YouTube channel is basically a vlog of my life, baking is a part of it, and I enjoy it. Well, mixed, one cup of mixed berries. One cup. And the next cup is not going to go in there, I don't think. Um, we're going a lot of people love the way they will put um, flour on the berries so that it doesn't color the dough, but I really like my dough, put a little bit of color to it, so you can really do what you want. I like color. Having the world just white is boring. Um, yeah, so now I have to get my muffin tin. Just right the Topping, which I still have some left over from my last batch of muffins that I made. So I'm just going to be using it, but I will tell you what to put in your topping recipe. It's very simple, very straightforward. So far, this is how I like it. It's a little bit purple. I like it like that. If you don't, that's okay. You can do it your way. All right, so muffin tins. We'll just put them. All right, we're just gonna be filling this up part way here. Because we will be having more berries and some strusel here. I'm definitely doing a nice one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm folding this beautiful quite properly up. So let's just do a little bit more. We don't want flour chunks in our um, recipe either. So that should be good. I sometimes get a little over scared of not overmixing my muffins, which I used to do all the time, and the muffins would be okay, they would taste bad, but be sure to not stay moist for very long. So, no. Should be good. This one over here now, this one here, and then I'll show you what I will do. I'm thinking this is only going to make 12 muffins, it might make it a little bit more, but um, I think so. I like my muffins to be a little bit taller, so, um, we'll see what happens here. As we go, like I said, we have some sprizzles in the middle, maybe just some more berries on the sprizzles, I don't know, it's okay. Here. So we don't need tons because there's already some on the inside, but this just makes it a little nicer. 
for those who love fairies. So I've done the filling, the base of it, added some more berries, and now we're going to add some streusel to the center as well. top of each muffin. Hopefully we'll have enough batter left to do that. We should. And then we just a little bit, so down as you can get the pizza. So this one is just a little nice touch with a little bit of in the middle, and a little bit of on top. Every one to look for recipes, Pinterest is the best place to look as far as I'm concerned. Or actually, there's a lot of recipes on Pinterest as well. I don't think I'll look. I don't know if I have that link. So anyhow, um, I'll be doing shout-outs again soon. I'll also be doing another Spanish class soon. We'll be doing answers to the questions that I have. And we'll also be doing a nerd video with or without my husband, because this time of year he does construction, so this time of year he is super busy, so sometimes I just have to do my own thing. That is okay. I've got the uh, oven preheating already to 400. And I think I have to try it down. Once these are in there, so it looks like all. And now I'm going to add a little more streusel to the top. I could add more berries, but I think that would be an overkill. Um, even though I love berries, but yeah, I think. Here we go. We're going to pop that into the oven. And now we have it at 400, but now that we've placed the muffins in the oven, we need to reduce the heat to 375. All right. So, and they should cook, bake for about 18 to 20 minutes or until your toothpick comes out clean, or fork. I uh, use either. I think my ovens are done. I was commenting on other people's videos and got sidetracked. Oh, no, a couple more minutes. Couple more minutes, ah! And they should be ready. All right, maybe two minutes, I'm thinking. Okay, once they're ready, I will show you them in the oven and then I'll take them out and show you them out of the oven. Yay! Well, they're not quite ready. I would like them to get a little more golden on the top, so I'll just leave them for a couple more minutes. But not too long, because otherwise they will cook too much. Oh, mm, they look beautiful. Now, I'll show you what they look like. After So I went to pick up my boy, and now to eat my muffin. Mmm, nice and moist and so good. Mmm. Oh my. <laughs>